here at KCC and I'm creating an answer key of sorts for you to be able to watch after you've tried to make your way through your mission. The first action is to go to your Google Drive and create a folder that says file management. So I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to go to the waffle here and I'm going to choose drive. I also could go up into the address bar and type in drive.google.com. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click where it says new and I'm going to click new folder. As soon as I do that, I can name it and I believe I said name it file management. So now our next task is to take a picture on your phone of anything and email it to yourself at your work address. Save that to your Google Drive and put it in your new folder. So I'm going to open up um, the camera so that you can see me. Hi! So I have my phone. I'm going to take a picture and you can see the camera. There's a plant right next to me taking a picture. So now I have that in my phone and I'm going to send it to my email. So I'm hitting the upload button, I'm hitting mail, I'm hitting in my S Brooks at MPS and I'm gonna name it plant so I can find it if I need to again. And I'm gonna hit send and off to the web it goes. All right, so now I'm gonna go into my email. So let me go back here and my email is over here and I'm going to refresh it because it might take a minute for it to come in. Of course it will. I wonder if I can pause my recording while I'm waiting for it. Probably by the time I find the pause button. It doesn't say pause. All right, so you kind of stuck with me. Um, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to open up the email and I can see I have my plant picture here. I can download it to my computer if I want, but I believe the instructions say to add it to drive. So I'm going to click this little drive icon and it's adding it to my drive. It usually gives me this option to organize it, which allows me to put it in the folder that I want. So I'm going to find my folder that is called file management and I'm going to move it there. So now if I go to my drive and I look inside file management, my picture should be in there. And there it is. I can click on it and then I can click the eyeball to preview it. So there's the plant. So what's next on the list? Next on the list is find a cool image on unsplash.com. Email it to Susie. So if we go to unsplash.com, this is a site where you can get free pictures to use for anything. You can edit them, you can change them, you don't have to give credit on them. So I'm going to find an image and I'm going to email it to Susie. Oh, she'll love this. It has a computer on it. So I am going to open it and I am going to download it. I'll do a small version of it so it's downloading to my computer. So now I have to email it to Susie. It's been saved. I go to my email. I'm going to go to Compose. I'm going to write to Susie. Put in her email. I'm going to say photo for you or whatever you want to say. And then I'm going to come down here to the paper clip to attach it and go to, in my case, downloads. It might be in your downloads as well if you're on a um, PC or if you are on a Chromebook. And there's the picture. I'm going to go ahead and hit open, which makes no sense. It should say attach. And I'm going to send it. So now it's on its way to Susie. So now I go back to my list. Take a screenshot of something on your Chromebook or computer. Email it to yourself and Susie. Put that in your folder. So let's see. I will take a screenshot of the blended learning schedule thing if I have it on here. Blended PD. We go to the matrix here. Depending on the device that you're on, when you go to do a screenshot, there are different ways to do it. Um, on a Chromebook, I believe it's like option, shift, and then the shift button, one of the pictures at the top of your keyboard. On a PC, you're using the snipping tool. And on a Mac, you're doing, I believe it's control, option, four, control, shift. I don't even know. My fingers do it all by itself. 
Um, I usually have to Google it if I am on a different device. So anyways, I've taken a screenshot of it and the instructions say that I need to email it to yourself and Susie. So let me go back to my email. I'm going to compose a new email. It's going to go to Susie and it's going to go to myself, which I know that's just ironic. And this is the screenshot. And so I'm going to come down here and I believe, does it say email it and then put that in my folder too. Okay, let me go back to the email. So I'm still sending it. I have to attach it, go to my paper clip, go to that picture that I just took, a screenshot, and open it, which should say attach, but it doesn't. And I'm going to hit send. Now I also can put it in that folder. So I'm going to go to my drive. I'm going to go to, um, when I'm in my drive, I want to make sure that I'm in my file management and then I'm going to upload that picture so I can do new file upload and if I'm going too fast you can always stop it and rewind it and have me on replay there's my screenshot I'm going to click open which should say upload but it doesn't and there it goes so let's see what's next Next is create a new Google Doc in your folder. Type your name at the top and go to your email and put both your photos that you emailed to yourself. Share the document with Susie and give Susie editing rights and then download the document as a PDF. If you're feeling brave, figure out how to get that doc into your folder. So I am gonna get started with that. Let me go to a new doc. I can close out Unsplash. I'm going to go to a new tab. I'm going to go docs.new. It will create a new blank document. Untitled, I'm going to title it File Management. And it's said to type your name on it. And then insert one of both of those pictures. I wish there was a pause on this. Hang on one second. 